Welcome to our lecture online, and here's the 19th and last physics problem on the JE Advanced 2021 exam for the afternoon session, paper two as they call it. So let's read it. It deals with the photoelectric effect. In a photoemission experiment, the maximum kinetic energies of photoelectrons from metals P, Q, and R are E sub P, E sub Q, and E sub R, respectively. And they are related by E sub P is 2 times E sub Q and it's equal to 2 times E sub R. In this experiment, the same source of monochromatic light is used for metals P and Q, while a different source of monochromatic light is used for the metal R. The work functions for metals P, Q and R are 4, 4.5 and 5.5 electron volts respectively. The energy of the incident photon used for metal R in EV is... Wow, after I read that problem, I have trouble keeping straight what is really happening. But let's try to make it into a diagram. We have three metals. We have metal P, metal Q, and metal R. And in each case, we have an incident photon. Like this. And we have an escaping electron. Like this. And they give us the energies of the escaping electrons. So this one is E sub Q, uh, E sub P. This one here is E sub Q. And this one here is E sub R. And notice I drew this arrow longer than I drew these two arrows because the energy of the escaping electron from metal P is twice the energy of the other two. So E sub P is 2 times E sub Q, which is 2 times E sub R. So we can write E sub P equals 2 times E sub R. And E sub P is equal to 2 times E sub Q. I might as well just do them in the correct order here, Q and R, like this. All right. Now, they also tell us that the incident photons uh, for e, P and Q are the same, but they're different than it is for, Q, uh, for R. So I'm going to circle this one and this one in red because that means that they're the same. So E photon red, energy of the incoming photon red. And then let's make this one blue. Presumably this is a higher energy. So this is energy of the photon blue, but we don't know. It could be different. All right. And then we have to have their work functions. So the work function for this one is 4.0 electron volts. The work for function for this one is 4.5 electron volts. And the work function for this is 5.5 electron volts. And then of course we have to know the equation that the energy of the electron is equal to the energy of the photon minus the work function. I'll just use W for work function. Okay. So we should set that up for the three situations. Hmm, let's see here, let's see here. Okay, so let's do it for P. So we use the equations, we have energy of the photon, so we have energy of the photon red, the incoming photon, is equal, oh, I'm sorry, I got that reversed. Let's try this again. So energy of the outgoing electron, E sub P, is equal to the energy of the incoming photon, so the energy of the photon red, minus the work function, which is 4. For Q, we have the energy of the, um, energy of the electron going out, Q, is equal to the energy of the photon red, minus 4.5. Now notice that both of those include energy of photon red. So we can actually eliminate that when we solve these two equations simultaneously. Why don't we go ahead and do that since we have that opportunity. So we can say that energy photon red is equal to E sub P plus 4 by moving that to the other side. And here we can say that energy photon red is equal to E sub Q plus 4.5. And of course, E sub P and E sub Q have a relationship. Uh, let's see here. 
E sub P and E sub Q have this relationship, so I can replace one by the other. And so I can replace this by e sub, two E sub Q. So we have energy photon red is equal to two times E sub Q plus four. And here I have energy photon red is equal to E sub Q plus 4.5. And now we can set these two equal to each other and solve for E sub Q. So we have 2 E sub Q plus 4 is equal to E sub Q plus 4.5. So when I move this to here, we have uh, E sub Q is equal to, because 2 minus 1 is 1, and here 4.5 minus 4, which is 0 0.5. All right, so it gives us E sub Q. And now that we have E sub Q, we can find E of the photon red. So we have E of the photon red is equal to 2 times E sub Q, which is 0 0.5, plus 4, which is 1 plus 4, which is equal to 5 electron volts. All right, so now we can do the same for R. So for R, we have the energy of the outgoing photon, which is E sub R, is equal to the energy of the incoming photon, which is E uh, photon sub blue, minus the work function, which is 5.5. And of course, we know E of the red, uh, E sub R. Do we know E sub R? Yes, because E sub R is equal to E sub Q, which is equal to 0 0.5. So we have E sub R is equal to E sub Q. So we have E sub Q is equal to E photon blue minus 5.5. And of course, E sub Q, we decided that that was equal to 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 is equal to E photon blue minus 5.5. And moving that across, we have E photon blue is equal to 6 electron volts. And that's what we're looking for, the energy of the incident photon used for metal R, which is right here, and therefore this is equal to 6 electron volts. And that is what we're looking for. And that's how it's done. Again, it comes down to remembering this equation right here and then solving them simultaneously. That's how we get the answer. And again, I would say I would rather do something like this so I can keep an eye on uh, all the various pieces of information, otherwise it gets pretty confusing.